Prior to ES6, working with object-oriented programming in JavaScript was very, very difficult. But with ES6, creating classes, using inheritance, etc. have become very, very simple. Let's have a look at the same thing using an example. So I'm going to create a new file ex09.js. And here I can just use a class keyword and create a class called person just like this. Now remember, JavaScript is a prototypical object-oriented programming language, which means there is no class structure. Behind the scene, this will be converted into a function and those functions will be considered as constructors. In any case, we can simply create a class person and then I can say let p1 equals to new person like this. And of course, I can always say here console log type of p1 and it should say it's a class person. So if I save this, go back to the command prompt node ex09 and it says it's an object. Of course, if I simply print what is p1, I should be able to see that it's an object of person. So it's an object of person over here. If you want to declare member variables, what you can do is you can create a constructor first and then in the constructor you can say this dot name equals to an empty string, this dot city equals to probably Bangalore as the default. And then if you go and run the same, you should now see that it says person object with name and city as two properties. You can also make use of the constructor here to receive the parameters. For example, I can say here name and then city equals to Bangalore. So this is another feature in ES6 where I can assign default values to a parameter so that I can assign name to this dot name and city to this dot city. Save this. Now for P1, there is no values. Whereas for let P2 equals to new person of Vinod and if I don't supply anything, it's going to be Bangalore anyways. But if I also have here let P3 equals to new person of John and let's say Dallas print P2 and print P3. Save this, go back and try running the same thing. You will see now that the objects have different values because we are able to supply via constructors. Now in case if you want to declare member functions over here, you can always add a function without the function keyword. I can simply say here print info and then I can say here console log name equals to this dot name and then I can say console log city equals to this dot city. Now instead of using the console log using p1, p2 in this way, I can say p1.printinfo, p2.printinfo as well as p3.printinfo. So the print info is a member function and we can call them using the objects here. So go back, run the same thing and you can see now I'm able to get the details of each of the persons. p1 didn't have a name so it's an undefined and p2 and p3 have name and city as well. Now, if you want to create a class that inherits from another class, you can do that with the extends keyword like in Java. So I'm going to create another example to show you the same thing. So here I'll say class person, which has got a constructor. And in the constructor, I'm creating a couple of members. I'll say this dot name. You can always assign if you want undefined. This dot city equals to undefined. Or if you want, you can receive those things from the constructor just like the previous one. But for the time being, I'm going to just use undefined. You can create another class, for example, employee, and I can say extends person. Now, when you use inheritance, there is one small aspect that you have to keep in mind. So the constructor must call the super class constructor. This is a must. So without that, it's going to give an error and it has to be used before any other statements in your constructor. So for example, I'll say this dot salary equals to 45,000. This dot department equals to probably undefined. So come down here and then I can say create a variable called E1, which is a new employee. And then if I type here console.log E1, 
save this and go back you should now see that E1 is an employee object it has name city salary and department all the members are there so in case if I do not do this then that's going to lead to a problem and it will mention anyway you can see that it says must call super constructor in derived class before accessing this or returning from derived constructor now in case if you didn't have the constructor at all that's not a problem so the problem is only when the derived class constructor uses some statement to assign that so for example now you see it has no problem but of course salary and department are missing so i'm going to just undo that and uncomment the same 